Coach, thanks so much for joining me. Calvin Austin the third. a lot of excitement, especially with the loss of wide receivers and free agency. What are the Steelers getting in him? Yeah, they're getting a fantastic young man. Uh, he's comes from a great stock and great background, and he's gonna work his tail off. Uh, everybody knows his speed, right? I mean, he's one of the fastest players in college football uh, for the last few years, and he's a great young man, right? He's a academic all around honor roll guy and a guy that uh, came to Memphis as a walk-on and a track athlete, and the Steelers are getting a dynamic football player that's gonna be uh, make the city of, of Pittsburgh quite proud. Having that mentality of being a walk on fighting to where he is, he went to the senior bowl, he got an invite to the combine. Uh, what is the transformation you've seen of him just as a person who is relentless? Yeah, I think that's part of it, right? He came here as a 149-pound uh, young man um, and has grown into uh, an NFL draft pick. And I think the mindset and the approach for him is he outworks everybody. He's one of those guys that would be after practice, catching extra balls off the jugs machine, uh, spending extra time watching film. and so. He's one of those guys that not only, uh, you know, will he have success immediately, but he'll last for a long time because of his work ethic. And I think part of that, right, coming with a chip on his shoulder as a Memphis kid, as a walk on and proving to everybody, right, getting to the senior bowl and then being drafted. Do you have a play or a game that sticks out in your mind when you think of him that you went, OK, this guy's going to make it to the next level? Yeah, I mean, look, he's been so fortunate over the years, um, you know, he's He's kind of come onto the scene, especially these last couple of years. But you go back to our game versus Mississippi State this past year, where he made a heads up play uh, on a punt uh, and uh, a punt from Mississippi State. And they kind of touched the ball, and he went and picked it up and returned it uh, for a long touchdown in a game that was on national television. I think it just shows one, his electric speed, but also his intelligence and the playmaking ability. And so uh, I said, okay, this guy's a real deal, but we've known that for a few years. Yeah, you, as you said, you know it, uh, the combine, I think is where a lot of people really took notice. You probably weren't sur surprised at all by his performance, right? No, not at all. I mean, if you look at, you know, all his drills and not only that, but the individual wide receiver workouts, it was dynamic uh, from top to bottom and, and just pleased with him. But that's the stuff that we've been so fortunate to see here on a day-to-day -day basis. I know Pittsburgh fans obviously went back and probably watched some of that stuff and were saying, wow, we got a real one. And uh, you never want to talk about a steal being a fourth round pick, but I think that's what he is. Inside, outside, what do you think suits him best? Yeah, you know, I think at the next level, obviously in Coach Canada's system, it'll be great for him, right? He's going to be one of those guys that can play that slot receiver inside, but can be moved all around, right? With the amount of motion that you guys are going to use, right? Some of the jet sweep things. I think he'll be very dynamic, but we were able to line him up all over the field here at Memphis because of his intelligence. We can line him up as an X wide receiver outside. He played more slot early in his career. Everybody says just because of his size, maybe he has to be inside, but uh, he'll be able to make a lot of plays all over the field uh, as a wide receiver there and also on special teams. In terms of being fearless, he said he thanks his older cousins who played tackle football with him growing up where he had to learn despite his size uh, to be fierce. What have you seen from him in terms of being a leader and a guy that people like to rally around? Yeah, I think his story is one of those things that tells it all, right? We, we talked about another size young man that came here uh, as a walk on and improved to himself. So that showed his ability to outwork everybody, right? Those leadership. I, I go back to the senior bowl where there's a play where they had him on the backside actually digging out a 300 pound defensive end. He's willing to stick his face in there. Uh, he's willing to lead. He's willing to do all those things. You know, you guys got to understand he's a Memphis kid, right? His dad's a police officer here in town. So he's got that blue collar, very similar to Pittsburgh, uh, and that mentality to go out there and work every single day to earn what he needs to. All right, well, we can't wait to see him here. Uh, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Absolutely, and I'll be cheering for all those uh, Memphis Tigers up there in Pittsburgh. <laughs>